Hi, I'm Justin, and I'm curious about developing spreadsheet gadgets. What are they? How do they work? And how can I develop some? Nice to meet you. I'm Justin, and I work with Google Docs Spreadsheets. I'll be happy to get you up to speed on developing spreadsheet gadgets. You may already be familiar with Google Spreadsheets, an online spreadsheets application that allows for real-time collaboration. It's part of our Google Docs suite. Spreadsheet gadgets are rendered HTML that reads data and visualizes it from Google Docs Spreadsheets. For example, you can use spreadsheet gadgets for interactive time series, Gantt charts, and novel visualizations. These gadgets can be embedded in spreadsheets or published to your iGoogle page or any external page. Cool. I think I will. So how do these gadgets work? Developing spreadsheet gadgets is straightforward. They're just XML-wrapped HTML, JavaScript, or Flash running in an iframe. I'll walk you through your first spreadsheet gadget. If you're at all familiar with Google APIs, you'll recognize that we're just combining the Visualization API and the Gadgets API. We use the Visualizations API to retrieve data from spreadsheets and the Gadgets API to specify settings in XML. We start with the Gadgets XML header. This allows us to specify the gadget's name, thumbnail, and configurable user preferences. Since we're writing a gadget that will visualize spreadsheet data, we want one of the user preferences to be the URL of the data source. We can now specify the gadget's behavior with HTML and JavaScript. We'll start by loading the Google Common JavaScript loader and defining a div to put our results in. Now load the Visualization API and send a query to the spreadsheet server. This call is asynchronous. When the data arrives, handle query response will be called. And now we reach the core logic. We first make sure the query was processed all right and then get the data out of the query. At this point, we can start building up an HTML string that we want the gadget to display performing whatever calculations we want along the way. Finally, we move the generated HTML into the gadget and close out the gadget's XML specification. Are there any tools that I can use during development and debugging? So glad you asked, Justin. One option is the Google Gadget Editor, which provides built-in web hosting. It's also a gadget itself, meta, so you can add it to your iGoogle page. I'd recommend configuring that iGoogle tab so that it's one column wide to give you plenty of space for editing. Are there any other options? Of course. You can use a text editor or a different IDE for editing and project hosting on Google Code or your own web space for hosting. Great. Once my gadget is online, how do I debug? In a Google Docs spreadsheet, go to Insert, Gadget, select Custom, and paste the URL of your gadget there. Be sure to add question mark no cache to the URL's end so that any code changes can be reflected in the sheet with a simple refresh. Click OK, and there your gadget is. This is great. I'm going to go code a quadrant charts gadget. Great idea. When it's ready for prime time, submit your gadget to the spreadsheet gadgets gallery so that loads of Google Docs users can embed and deploy your gadget. How do I do that? It's all in the documentation. Thank you very much, Justin. It's been a pleasure. Anytime. Check out the docs for more info, and good luck. You go, Justin. You rock. No, thank you, Justin. No, no, really. It's all you. You, you seem to really know your stuff. <laughs> I'm mostly making it up as I go.